Hi, first graders. Do you like my shirt? Hmm, I wonder what our Christmas story today is going to be. You'll find out later. We are going, right now though, we are going to reread The Gingerbread Man Loose at Christmas. I want you to pay careful attention to the story events. After the story, you are going to have to draw and label three things that happen in the story. One, picture and sentence. Two, picture and sentence. And three, picture and sentence. Then, you are going to cut out, color, cut, and glue the places the gingerbread man went in order. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So pay attention to the first place he goes, second place, third place. Be a careful listener. The gingerbread man loose at Christmas. One white snowy morning, I popped up from my bed. My teacher was calling, wake up, sleepyhead. Is he really in bed? The classroom was decked out in holiday lights. They twinkled and sparkled in red, greens, and whites. It's the season of giving, and we can give too. Our gifts could be things that we make, say, or do. A small act of kindness can go a long way. Let's do something special for someone today. We'll make something sweet. I'll say something kind. I'll do a nice favor, or all three combined. And when we're all finished, we'll walk down our street and deliver our gifts to the neighbors we meet. I'll think of a present. I know that I can. I want to give too. I'm the gingerbread man. Some children made cards and others baked trees. A few practiced singing with jingle bell beats. I wanted my present to be a surprise. I thought and I thought and then I grabbed my supplies. I knew just the person I'd give this gift to, so I made something special with glitter and glue. So the gingerbread man has an idea who he wants to give a present to. I'll deliver the present as fast as I can with a jolly ho-ho from the gingerbread man. The town was so merry, the storefronts aglow. Each window, window was frosted with white icy snow. Okay, we're headed to the town. Pay attention. The first stop. We stopped the police lady and sang her a song. She smiled really big as she waved us along. Fa la 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 la. Next came a garbage man picking up trash. So we dropped off some goodies to stash on his dash. Beep beep. We popped in the library, stopping to say, Thank you for all that you do every day. So we've had police, trash man, library. We raced to the dentist, the grocer, the vet, delivering cheer to each neighbor we met. Now we've had dentist, grocer, that's the guy who works at the grocery store, vet. They all seemed so happy and very surprised they gave us bear hugs and a few even cried. Happy tears. A whipping wind blew, and it started to snow, and our teacher said, Children, it's time that we go. I patted my pocket and then started to fret. I still have my present. I can't go back yet. But the class didn't hear me. The wind was too loud. They all headed back through the holiday crowd. I'll search on my own as fast as I can. I'll dash through the snow. I'm the gingerbread man. 
I waved at the barber and the friendly bookseller. So we have barber, bookseller, the doctor, the florist, and the busy bank teller. Now we have doctor, florist, that's the flower shop, and the bank teller works at the bank. I must find the neighbor I made my gift for. She helped my class make me. Oh, where is her store? The sidewalks were slick as I tripped and then tumbled and noticed my feet were all mushy and crumbled. My icing was dripping. My legs were just dough. I had to get out of this squishy, wet snow. What happens when you get a cookie wet? Then finally I saw at that one special store a sign that said bake shop hung over the door. I'll hobble right over as fast as I can. I'll give my gift to I'm the gingerbread man. The baker reached out and said, How do you do? I'm the gingerbread man. I'm glad I found you. I've come to say thanks for your sweet recipe. Without it, my class would have never made me. I have something for you, my very best card. I used lots of glitter and worked really hard. She gave me a smooch saying, you made my day. Then she glanced at my legs and looked at this with a look of dismay. Yeah, if you are looking with dismay, you have a not happy look on your face. Are your legs feeling crummy? I know a quick fix. We'll give them a dip in this dark chocolate mix. These boots will be cozy and look really cool. They'll keep your feet dry on your way back to school. I'll run in my boots as fast as I can. Thank you so much from the gingerbread man. I dashed back to school under winter white skies. I hope I'm not late for our last big surprise. I zoomed down the hall, then I slid into place. I joined all my classmates, a smile on my face. Our teacher looked puzzled but curious, too. We have one more present, a poem just for you. You are a gift that we get every day. You help us to learn in our own special way. You're funny and kind. You're the best teacher, too. Just you say way to go, and you're ever so clever. Now that we know that we're smart cookies, too, we made a super gigantic thank you. Our teacher bent down, and she gathered us in a warm-hearted hug and a very big grin. My classmates grinned, too. We had pulled off our plan. Merry Christmas to all from the Gingerbread Man. So now it's time to put the story in order. This is the pet shop, maybe the vet's office library, that's the bakery, the trash truck, the grocery store, the dentist. Cut them out and put them in order of where they came in the story. You may need to watch the story again and if it was me, I would watch the story again and I would number these while I listen. So you can put number one on by the first one, two, three, and so watch for these places in the story and number them as you listen. And you can also draw three things that happened and label your drawings with a sentence. Got it? Bye!